Common Era, Wikipedia article audio Common Era or Current Era is a name for a calendar era widely used around the world today. The era preceding CE is known as before the Common or Current Era. The Current Era notation system can be used as an alternative to the Dionysian Era system, which distinguishes eras as AD Year of Lord and BC. The two notation systems are numerically equivalent, thus 2018 CE corresponds to AD 2018 and 400 BCE corresponds to 400 BC. Both notations refer to the Gregorian calendar. The year numbering system as used for the Gregorian calendar is the most widespread civil calendar system used in the world today. The expression has been traced back to 1615, when it first appeared in a book by Johannes Kepler as the Latin usage Vulgaris Eri, and to 1635 in English as Vulgar Era. The term Common Era can be found in English as early as 1708, and became more widely used in the mid-19th century by Jewish academics. In the later 20th century, the use of CE and BCE was popularized in academic and scientific publications, and more generally by authors and publishers wishing to emphasize secularism or sensitivity to non-Christians, by not explicitly referencing Jesus as Christ and Dominus through use of the abbreviation AD. History Origins the year numbering system used with common era notation was devised by the Christian monk Dionysius Exegius in the year 525 to replace the era of martyrs system, because he did not wish to continue the memory of a tyrant who persecuted Christians. He attempted to number years from an initial reference date, an event he referred to as the Incarnation of Jesus. Dionysius labeled the column of the table in which he introduced the new era as Anni Domini Nostri Jesu Christi. Numbering years in this manner became more widespread in Europe with its usage by Bede in England in 731. Bede also introduced the practice of dating years before what he supposed was the year of birth of Jesus, and the practice of not using a year zero. In 1422, Portugal became the last Western European country to switch to the system begun by Dionysius. The term Common Era is traced back in English to its appearance as Vulgar Era to distinguish dates on the ecclesiastic calendar from those of the regnal year, the year of reign of a sovereign, typically used in national law. The first use of the Latin term Vulgaris Eri discovered so far was in a 1615 book by Johannes Kepler. Kepler uses it again in a 1616 table of ephemerides, and again in 1617. A 1635 English edition of that book has the title page in English so far the earliest found usage of vulgar era in English. A 1701 book edited by John Leclerc includes Before Christ According to the Vulgar Era, 6. A 1716 book in English by Dean Humphrey Prideau says, Before the Beginning of the Vulgar Era, by which we now compute the years from his incarnation. A 1796 book uses the term Vulgar Era of the Nativity. The first so far discovered usage of Christian Era is as the Latin phrase Eri Christiani on the title page of a 1584 theology book. In 1649, the Latin phrase Eri Christiani appeared in the title of an English almanac. A 1652 ephemeris is the first instance so far found for English usage of Christian era. Vulgar era The English phrase common era appears at least as early as 1708, 
and in a 1715 book on astronomy is used interchangeably with Christian era and vulgar era. A 1759 history book uses common era in a generic sense, to refer to the common era of the Jews. The first so far found usage of the phrase before the common era is in a 1770 work that also uses common era and vulgar era as synonyms, in a translation of a book originally written in German. The 1797 edition of the Encyclopædia Britannica uses the terms vulgar era and common era synonymously. In 1835, in his book Living Oracles, Alexander Campbell, wrote, The Vulgar Era, or Anno Domini, the fourth year of Jesus Christ, the first of which was but eight days, and also refers to the common era as a synonym for vulgar era with the fact that our Lord was born on the fourth year before the vulgar era, called Anno Domini thus making the 42d year from his birth to correspond with the 38th of the Common Era. The Catholic Encyclopedia in at least one article reports all three terms being commonly understood by the early 20th century. The phrase Common Era, in lower case, also appeared in the 19th century in a generic sense, not necessarily to refer to the Christian era but to any system of dates in common use throughout a civilization. Thus, the common era of the Jews, the common era of the Mahometans, common era of the world, the common era of the foundation of Rome. When it did refer to the Christian era, it was sometimes qualified, e.g., common era of the Incarnation, common era of the Nativity, or Common Era of the Birth of Christ. History of the Use of the CE-BCE Abbreviation An adapted translation of Common Era into Pseudo-Latin as Era Vulgaris was adopted in the 20th century by some followers of Aleister Crowley, and thus the abbreviation EV. Or EV may sometimes be seen as a replacement for AD. Although Jews have their own Hebrew calendar, they often use the Gregorian calendar. As early as 1825, the abbreviation VE was in use among Jews to denote years in the Western calendar. Contemporary Usage Common Era notation has also been in use for Hebrew lessons for more than a century. Some Jewish academics were already using the CE and BCE abbreviations by the mid-19th century, such as in 1856, when Rabbi and historian Morris Jacob Raphael used the abbreviation in his book Post-Biblical History of the Jews. Rationale In the 200 years between 1808 and 2008 the ratio of usage of BCE to BC has increased by about 20% and CE to AD by about 50%, primarily since 1980. Support Some academics in the fields of theology, education, and history have adopted CE and BCE notation, although there is some disagreement. More visible uses of common era notation have recently surfaced at major museums in the English-speaking world. Furthermore, several style guides now prefer or mandate its usage. Even some style guides for Christian churches prefer its use, for example, the Episcopal Diocese Maryland Church News. Opposition In the United States, the usage of the BCE-CE notation in textbooks is growing. Some publications have moved over to using it exclusively. For example, the 2007 World Almanac was the first edition to switch over to the BCE-CE usage, ending a 138-year usage of the traditional BC-AD dating notation. It is used by the College Board in its history tests, and by the Norton Anthology of English Literature. 
others have taken a different approach. The US based History Channel uses BCE slash CE notation in articles on non Christian religious topics such as Jerusalem and Judaism. In 2002, England and Wales introduced the BCE slash CE notation system into the official school curriculum. In June 2006, in the United States, the Kentucky State School Board reversed its decision to use BCE and CE in the state's new program of studies, leaving education of students about these concepts a matter of discretion at the local level. Also in 2011, media reports suggested that the BC slash AD notation in Australian school textbooks would be replaced by BCE slash CE notation. The story became national news and drew opposition from some politicians and church leaders. Weeks after the story broke, the Australian Curriculum, Assessment and Reporting Authority denied the rumor and stated that the BC slash AD notation would remain, with CE and BCE as an optional suggested learning activity. The use of CE in Jewish scholarship was historically motivated by the desire to avoid the implicit Our Lord in the abbreviation AD. Although other aspects of dating systems are based in Christian origins, AD is a direct reference to Jesus as Lord. Conventions and Style Guides Proponents of the Common Era notation assert that the use of BCE slash CE shows sensitivity to those who use the same year numbering system as the one that originated with and is currently used by Christians, but who are not themselves Christian. Similar conventions in other languages Former United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan, himself a Protestant, has argued. He Christian calendar no longer belongs exclusively to Christians. People of all faiths have taken to using it simply as a matter of convenience. There is so much interaction between people of different faiths and cultures different civilizations, if you like that some shared way of reckoning time is a necessity. And so the Christian era has become the common era. Adina K. Berkowitz when arguing at the Supreme Court opted to use BCE and CE because given the multicultural society that we live in, the traditional Jewish designations BCE and CE cast a wider net of inclusion. Some oppose the common era notation for explicitly religious reasons. Because the BC slash AD notation is based on the traditional year of the conception or birth of Jesus, some Christians are offended by the removal of the reference to him in era notation. The Southern Baptist Convention supports retaining the BC slash AD abbreviations. Notes There are also secular concerns. English language expert Kenneth G. Wilson speculated in his style guide that if we do end by casting aside the AD slash BC convention, Almost certainly some will argue that we ought to cast aside as well the conventional numbering system itself, given its Christian basis. The short-lived French Republican calendar, for example, began with the first year of the French First Republic and rejected the seven-day week for a ten-day week. Priest and writer on interfaith issues Raymond Panikar contends that using the designation BCE slash CE is a return, to the most bigoted Christian colonialism towards non-Christians, who do not necessarily consider the time period following the beginning of the calendar to be a common era. According to a Los Angeles Times report, it was a student's use of BCE slash CE notation inspired by its use within Wikipedia, which prompted the teacher and politician Andrew Schlafly to found Conservapedia, a cultural conservative wiki. One of its Conservapedia commandments is that users must always apply BC slash AD notation, since its sponsors perceive BCE slash CE notation to deny the historical basis of the dating system. 
The abbreviation BCE, just as with BC, always follows the year number. Unlike AD, which traditionally precedes the year number, CE always follows the year number. Thus, the current year is written as 2018 in both notations, and the year that Socrates died is represented as 399 BCE. The abbreviations are sometimes written with small capital letters, or with periods. Style guides for academic texts on religion generally prefer BCE-CE to BC-AD.